Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another Vehicle Spotlight. We got a special episode for you guys today. We got a killer rebuilt 1976 Datsun 280Z. If you look at this thing, it's rebuilt from motor uh, to bodywork, suspension, exhaust, wheels and tires, ton of mods on this thing. Entirely too much for me to list off. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna hand it over to our new guy, a familiar face, Alex Martinez from WCC Car Club. Uh, he's also a new member of the Fitment Inc. team, so we're gonna uh, kick it over to him, let him give you the rundown on this car. Let's check this thing out. Niggas pocket watching, no, I feel the envy. They seen it coming, so they try to end me. When that didn't work, then they try to befriend me. But I ain't got the heart for being friendly. When you start making moves, they gon' try to troll you. Get some money, they'll start asking for the old you. Wolf on all streets, but baby, I'm a go to. If you need a hit, best believe I'm the go to. When you live in fabulous, they'll try to lose you. They try to block my shot, but baby, I got post moves. Uh, I've been fetching paper like it's old news. You were snaking in the grass until I mowed through. Uh, boy, stop flexing, I don't even know you. You know my name, but you do not know what I go through. Yeah. Call me on my name, boy, that's a bold move. You better have that same energy when I roll through. Best not seen no subliminals when I scroll R200 Vicious Rear LSD with some headers, 16 gauge, true to your force day. I'm memorizing for the car, but I don't remember everything that's in this. What's going on guys, my name is Alex, I'm here at Fitment Inc, Fitment Inc TV, and this is my 1976 Datsun 280Z. So, starting right off, we're going to get into the wheels and tires. These are Atara Pisangs, uh, these are 10 and a half uh, wide, they're 15 inches diameter. This is a 35 negative offset on Kumo Extra 225 5015s. This is a square setup, meaning that the front and back are both the same, so there's no sort of staggered setup here. It actually sits flush with the over fenders that are installed in the car, so it looks real nice and tucked, but nothing too crazy. Uh, this is something where if you had the Brinkworth fender flares off of the car, it would be extremely pokey by about three inches or so. Uh, very cool setup. The front actually did require some light modification to the wheel to actually fit the hub bore. However, the rears did not require any sort of modification at all. So if you look at the car just in general, it does sit on Brinkworth over fenders. That is how you get that set up for a little bit of a wider tire. Without power steering, it can be a little bit of a pain to move around at slow speeds, but it is quite an aggressive setup. So you'll see also included is my uh, hood intake that actually is cut out of the engine bay. Uh, that is to fit the 355 supercharged V8 with forged internals. Also uh, CAD designed uh, hood intake, as well as if we move forward to some shadow covers for the headlights, as well as the polyurethane 240Z bumper that was retrofitted to the 280Z. Uh, the reason for the two-tone is just to give it a more aggressive JDM style uh, look, and so that's what we accomplished with the black and white throughout the uh, car. So if we actually check out the back here, you're gonna see the same setup, like I said, square setup on the Ataras. Uh, with the backs, they sit extremely flush. The wheel actually does poke out a little bit with the stretch. The 225s are a smaller tire, generally speaking. However, uh, plans for some wider tires are always in the works. The over fenders sit uh, throughout the entire car, same height all the way down. You'll notice that it does sit with a different style side skirt. This is an MSA Type 2 side skirt, not the stock side skirt that sits on most 280Zs. So if we go to the back here, you're gonna see the MSA uh, three-piece duck lip here that was installed in the same black as the uh, rest of the trim for the car, as well as uh, JDM, I guess you would say, custom exhaust. So this was Briette Motors uh, designed this for me just because there's not one way to design the exhaust system for a 355 swapped Datsun. So it's true uh, stainless steel, very nice sound, very nice exhaust note. We'll let you hear that in just a minute. Uh, went with uh, the rear single exhaust uh, just because it gives it more of a Japanese uh, style look instead of being too uh, muscle car. This actually used to sit on dual side pipes, uh, but now the sound coming from the back is just so much better.
If we go and we actually check out the interior here a little bit, not a whole lot, but just enough to keep it drivable. So we sit on Intellitronics five gauge digital cluster. And finally, as we take a look at the engine bay, which is not always easy to get to because of the hood pins, you can actually take a look at how the 355 sits in the engine bay. So you will notice that there is a ton of space in these 280Zs. 240 and 260Zs are notorious for engine swaps. Uh, RB25, 26, 1JZs are very common. Uh, V8s are extremely common as well. LS3, the most popular swap. However, with this, wanted to give it a little bit more of an old school look with old school cool. So we went with an old school 355 or 350 that was bored out slightly. You will still see that there is about six inches of clearance in the front of the car. That is what makes these cars so popular for engine swaps just because there's so much space uh, to really work with. Paired this up with a T56 six-speed transmission out of a Dodge Viper to get that sixth gear for cruising and of course, uh, lots of fun in the first few gears. And then of course, there are a couple other extra goodies that sit on the car just to make it go a little bit quicker. But we won't get into that a whole heck of a lot. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vehicle showcase. This is my first time, so if you didn't like it, I'm sure you'll let me know regardless. But this is my 1976 Datsun 280Z. Hope you enjoyed, we'll see you later. Sell out the way most do. Half these niggas lost their soul.